uh, these binge diets, right? And they don't stick yeah. with them because they don't let themselves splurge a little bit, right. okay? Like once a week you can have something, it's all right? Like you can still live, themselves. but moderation, you can't go too crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. So that that's the hard part. And, you know, if you – if I don't care if you're eating out or you're eating at home or whatever, but if you eat – proportionately like like you say not bigger than your fist Mm -hmm. so if you don't eat a piece of meat bigger than your fist Mm -hmm. and you have a vegetable and a salad with not a lot of goopy salad dressing on it you'll be okay no matter if you're eating at home or somewhere else yes and people have a tendency to go out and it's a celebration going out to eat is a celebration and they eat too much Mm -hmm. and and then they don't burn the calories and then it can become a vicious circle. Yeah, my husband and I split meals. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, that's We've done very that for smart. Years. And you know, we don't go out to eat that much, but when we do, it's usually for perch. Uh, and that's, that's mm. yeah. oh yeah, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, and I'll I'll watch what I I'll I'll watch what I eat She's all American. week <laughs> so that I can go out on Friday night and eat perch and a baked potato. Yeah. It's, that's a problem because our bodies, we're, we're set up to be grazers. We are mm-hmm. supposed to eat little bits all day long. Mm-hmm. But how do most of us eat? eat? Sit down we, and just gorge. Yeah, we eat like yeah. a lion. That's what we do. We, we yeah. say, well, I'm not going to eat for three days so I can have Thanksgiving dinner. You probably would have been better off eating. Eat, you can still eat, eat little meals. You right. probably would eat more and take in more calories, but you're eating more throughout the day and it boosts your metabolism. You kind of think of your body as like a fire and you got to keep stoking that fire. Right. You know, it, 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 so it's hard to everyone's be a got grazer, it backwards. Though. But you know what? Yeah. I don't mind grazing. I don't mind being, uh, it's not like being full all the time, but it's not being hungry. Yeah. I, I, there's two different ways I do it. I'll eat without being, only when I'm hungry or I'll eat little bits throughout the day. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Well, as long we'll as it's see. eating clean. <laughs> yeah, and I do. I I do. Sure. It, and that's hard, isn't it? You, you're a mom. How many children do you have? I have two, two girls. And how old are they? Uh, seven and nine. So, and you're busy. Mm-hmm. So, how yes. do you stay healthy? How um, do you ki- eat healthy? We eat. We actually eat a lot of chicken, and I do mm-hmm. have one daughter that has a hard time eating. You know, she doesn't like anything. Mm. So, you know, and she <laughs> loves the pasta, though. But it's, you know, so we try and just maybe once a week. Okay, once a week we'll have spaghetti. You know, it's... Hey, there's... The Berea made the, makes a pasta out of vegetables now. Yes, and... Um, we yeah, eat that. I tried it, and she doesn't like it. So oh, oh she crap. Can... How does she even you know? you put butter in this? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. <laughs> Darn I don't know it. She, knows. I don't know. she just knows. I don't know, she checks you know, my husband has a recipe for homemade mac and cheese that he puts ham in. It's really good. I don't know if it's super healthy for you. But <laughs> I would say not. No, I don't think <laughs> so. Mac and cheese usually isn't, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what? She's a good example. If she, you don't sacrifice. No, I. But I, she works out. It's, it's hard. hard to have a family and make meals and you know make it healthy and that everybody enjoys. You know that's that's it's tough. Right. It's tough, especially when you're you know working and. Right. Running around, and but you can do it. Yeah. But yeah. at least, like with, like I said, the mac and cheese, it's homemade, so it's not processed foods. We know what's going in. So it's it. not cheese that you can catch on fire. It's not cheese food, yeah, <laughs> or cheese product or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> cheese product. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's none of that yeah. stuff. But I, I mean, I do eat most whatever I. I mean, a lot of the homemade stuff, but I eat what I want. I just in moderation and count my calories, and then I exercise. Mm-hmm. You know, we do have a thing that we're going through right now, trying to get on the salad kick more and more. And um, I have put pasta in my salad with my lettuce. That's okay. All this other stuff. So gradually I put more lettuce than I do pasta. That's good. And that kind of tricks whatever kid is just eating the pasta so that they're eating lettuce too or or kale or something that has a a better bite to it besides Mm -hmm. the pasta. But some of these, you know, salad dressings that you put on are really good. Well, I just read a thing the other day about, um, because I've always been kind of fitness oriented, I read all those things. that, And it said, don't put any bottled dressing on your salad. Okay. Really? Yes. You got to make it? Because okay. there's sugar in it and oh. too much salt. and Even the naturals? Even the naturals. <sighs> But the You're thing is, busting my bubble. Well, you know the way you do it to mix it in a bag so yeah, that it coats I, it and not it's not excess. Yeah, I pour my portion into a baggie and then I'll shake the salad so it coats it nicely without 
over using the dressing. Sure, but, good idea. And I, I use, I love balsamic vinegar, and yeah. I'll use a balsamic vinegar and a little bit of olive oil, and um, that's. I just mix it up, and sometimes I'll put it in the food processor with a red onion and some garlic. Oh, yeah. And that's that's very good. So could you make that up, like, to to bottle for yourself and yes. hold it for a while? Yeah. It, I wouldn't let it last too long, but it would last for a week, you know, a week yeah. at a time. And and it tastes really good, but you, I put it in, and I don't get enough so that it's juicy on the bottom. You know, it's just enough to coat the lettuce. Right, right. So, exactly. And there's all kind of little things you can do to trick yourself. And we like those tricks because a lot of those tricks work. Yeah. You know, Juliana brought up a good point right before we went to break that we're going to just address very briefly. And then we're going to talk a little bit about, um, we're going to wrap it up with our guests and talk a little bit about next week and where we're going to be and what we're going to be doing. Because that's always fun. Um, <laughs> you know, one of the things they say before you start a fitness program to talk to a doctor, and I am very, <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, I am very anti-doctor. Sure. Well, it, yeah. it, it depends on your situation, though. You know, if, if, if you, you have a bad heart. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. Diabetes. If, if, yeah, if you have past health issues, then absolutely check with the doctor. You know, but, uh, you know, like Deb was saying when we were on break, the doctor, they're trying to protect themselves. So if, if you go to a doctor, you know, more times than not, if you have anything wrong with you, they're going to say, no, you probably shouldn't be doing this because they don't want to have it fall back on them. So, you know, again, my advice would be if you had prior health issues, absolutely. If, if you're, if not, then listen to your body. Yeah, exactly. It all falls back to that. Yep. But, you yes. know, it, it, this is what angers me. And I know this is a subject for Uh-oh. another show. <laughs> a cert, if you, once you reach a certain age and you go to the doctor, and he says you're borderline diabetic and borderline high blood pressure. Pills. Here, take these two pills. Mm-hmm. When all he would have to say is start exercising, lose yeah. 10 watch to 20 diet. pounds, watch yeah. your diet, yeah. and you won't need these pills. They yeah. don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of doctor friends, and no time in their education. Are they With taking it. any mm-hmm. kind of a fitness class, mm-hmm. or it's all about medicine, or medicine, nutritional? Medicine. They or, don't exactly. Take the- that is a hole in the system. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's that that, is, they're a medical doctor. That's what they do. That's exactly you know? right. To treat a person, doctor, you really need to treat the whole person. And the whole thing of medicine was um, medicine. That food is medicine, and medicine is food. That's what started it yes. to eat right. And yeah, that that's a whole other subject, right? Yeah. Right. So. Um, if there is a problem, yes, see a doctor if, or start out slowly and lose that weight slowly and go back to your doctor and there will be nothing wrong. <laughs> That's right. There you know, you go. It's your choice. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> go, go, to, go to somebody. Check up yeah. <laughs> go, you know, go to a holistic person, somebody that's oh, yeah. going to look at you and say, wow, you need to lose some weight, buddy. Yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> you know, eat right and or Get give them a diet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, there we go. I'm off yeah. my bandwagon now. <laughs> so, Charlie, in closing, if you could give somebody a piece of advice um, that that uh, really needs it, really mm-hmm. needs to hear something encouraging sure. from you, what would you say? Make it brief, please. Sure. I'd go back to find something that you can find uh, progress in and that will give you satisfaction. Mm, like it doesn't even have to be working out. If you're depressed or you're feeling down, find something that you can chart progress. It'll bring you happiness. Very good. I would be find something that you like to do, whether it's a, you know walking with a friend, anything, anything. Very and good. Motivation. You know, your friends are your best motivation. Yes. That's very true. Thank you for that. Tammy, do you have any words of advice? Well, I'd say try different things. Try different things. Try different You'll things. find something that you like. Yes. That's, you, you just that's don't know good. until you do try them. That's a very good piece of advice, LD. Thank you. Juliana. <laughs> Don't think of it as a little thing. Think of it as a change of life. It's not something that you're going to you know, do only for a short time. You're going to ah. do this for the rest of your life, and think about that. Misty? Never, ever, ever quit. Ah. Woo! Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's okay if you start out running and you're only doing a block at a time or a mile at a time. Keep and going. Just keep going. And before you know it, you'll be running the marathon. And there you go. Cool. Like no. you, huh? <laughs> She's our hero. And I think mine is um, you're, you're not too old to start something new 
And when you are too old to start something new, you're too old. You're just too old. <laughs> <laughs> Older than dirt does not count. No, and you know, I think that's how you can stay young is to challenge yourself. And Charlie, something that you said. You go in to challenge yourself. Yeah, that's if something that you said was really good. Um, if they're not there, we can't help them. Absolutely. Move out of your comfort zone and do something that you've never done before. I don't care what it is. You're responsible for yourself. That's right. At the end of the day, that's the that's it. That's right. Yep. So um, stay here because we're going to ask you guys to tell us uh, how to get a hold of you for your help. Um, we have a new show called One Month at a Time that talks about making New Year's resolutions one month at a time instead of something for the whole year. You might want to listen to that. It's on right before us. It's on at 640 on Tuesday nights. Please give a listen to that. Uh, we every also, week? Every week. Okay. Yep. She has the same same message for a whole month. Okay. And then it Every changes. week. Gotcha. Right. And uh, we have uh, our guest next week is Virginia Parker. We're continuing with our fresh starts, create a new you. And we're going to talk about something that you've always wanted to do but have been afraid to do, write your memoirs. That's going to be a really interesting show. And Virginia Parker's How been here before. How can we get other people to read our memoirs? You, they don't have to. Write them for your kids. Write them for yourself. They don't have to. I don't think my kids want to read them. My memoirs would be pretty interesting if I included everything. I don't like well, you know, so, a couple hundred years from now, maybe some that's right. find them interesting. <laughs> yeah, we'll lock them in a time capsule. I'll be long gone. So um, we another really good thing that I want to announce is that we have – a show coming that's going to make its debut after ours, uh, starting in February, and he will be our guest next week. He's a sex therapist. Oh, Pat. Yes. <laughs> so I think that's going to be very fun. And sounds exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a hoot. <laughs> yeah. We have a couple have things coming it up. <laughs> it's, I, he's a very nice guy. It's gonna. I'm kind of scared what he's going to talk about, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Good Come radio. out of your comfort zone, Deb. <laughs> okay, and I have to tape it, too. I'm going to be all embarrassed be crawling all... around on the floor. Holy I think shit, I might Matt, have to do a video. <laughs> wow. Deb's ready. again. YouTube. It's going to be on YouTube. Um, January 29th, Brengman. I don't know how to say that. It's B-R-E-N-G-M-A-N, Brengman. The G, like, should be moved or something. <laughs> Brengman Brothers Winery is from the Leland Al Peninsula. They have... Bay City Connections, they've been producing world-class wines since 2010, and Robert Brengman is actually going to host an event at Vino at 6.30 on Thursday, January 29th. You can call and make your reservations at 989-460-0116. Make sure you tell them that you heard about them on the Devolution Show. 50 Shades, 51, I'm sorry, 51 Shades of Fusion Ancient Rhythms with our friend Linda is on um, February 7th. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8 at the Prime Event Center right here in Bay City on Washington Street. And that is going to be very good. Uh, it's belly dancing. You can get your tickets here if you call us at 989-402-5414. You can also visit their website. It's asimafusion.com, A-S-I-M-A fusion.com. We'll put that on our Facebook page. They're raising money for the Bay City Women's Shelter and the Saginaw Underground Railroad. They're empowering the goddess within. We are going to be at the Stables on January 30th with, um, oh, it's going to be so much fun. You're going to be there, Juliana. I'm going to be there. And <laughs> Charlie, if you were having trouble filling your boot camps, we were going to ask you to be there, but you're not. So. Nope, no problems there. <laughs> but we invite you if you want to come. Michelle okay. And Rose of course, we invite there. you. Michelle's going to be there. We have some, our, our organic skincare lady is going to be there. We have and our body wrap, wrap lady. lady, a purse lady. It's going to oh, yeah. be fun. Yeah. Uh, it, it, we Shop, really do have a good time. Get a time. massage, drink some yep, wine. Yeah. <laughs> good times. Yeah, we do have yeah. fun. Missy, oh, you'll do. be there, won't you? Yeah. We laugh and oh, just carry on. <laughs> so we're going to be there at 6 o'clock. We kind of take over those back four stables. Yeah, we do. And um, we have a diffuser going so we don't smell too much like cigar smoke. And the there we're raffling, we're auctioning, we're having a drawing. A drawing. <laughs> I get those things confused. 
We're having a drawing where Indigo Moon has generously donated a package that includes a phone console.